Hello everyone, thank you all for joining yet another devlog. So in the previous episode, we did the modeling of uh, the crawler. In this episode, we'll be doing the animations for it. The crawler is modeled after a spider, so what I try to do is try to make the movement seem like a spider. But this didn't turn out so well, but it's the best I can do, so that's what we're going with. Then, I try to edit the animation to the Unity scene. However, the blender animation didn't work just out of the box for Unity, so what I had to do is figure out how to export it. I've been using the OBJ or waveform method of exporting, which I figured uh, later on that it wasn't the best way of exporting. So I asked. I ended up using the FBX or the Autodesk format, which allows me to export textures and animations, which would be helpful in the situation. There was a bug with the animation where it kept repeating, but it didn't have a delay to it, making it seem like the crawler is going really fast when it shouldn't. I figured out that Unity's animation system allows you to change when the animation plays, so I end up uh, messing around with that and it got to work. This is post-production me here. Uh, I'm just here to let you guys know that this episode might be a little bit long, like three times as long actually. Uh, what I usually do is I record a one hour session and edit it down to three minutes. But I had a little bit too much coffee and I did three one hour sessions. Uh, there wasn't a way to cut this down without sacrificing content. So here we are with a triple episode. So for the next part, we start modeling items. I want it so for every item in the game that when a player equips it, um, it will bring out that physical item. So what I have to do is make a model for every item in the game, which sounds like a lot, but for right now it's it's only like four items, so not that bad. Uh, I started experimenting with some stick ideas, but I settled on this rectangular design. Uh, next, I worked on shading. Now I used to uh, like do Blender stuff a while back, so I, the shading wasn't really a problem for me. I got a kind of realistic looking wood texture. Then it just comes down to exporting the model to Unity. Apparently, Unity doesn't support Blender materials, which I should have thought of in hindsight, but uh, what I ended up doing is exporting each uh, material into two images, one for the normal and one for the color, with diffuse. This took a while to do, but after finding out how to do it, I got it to work. My biggest problem was just configuring Blender in a way that will make this possible. After that, I exported both textures to Unity, made a new material Unity, and applied it onto the model. And there we have it. We have a working stick inside Unity. I realized the stick uh, was too short, so I decided to lengthen it. Then I got working on equipping it. I decided that having a character model for the player would be too much work, so I just put a stick on the right of the player, and whatever item is equipped would just be positioned there. Finally, I got working on the code. What I wanted the code to do is whenever the item is equipped, it will put the item model on the right side of the player, making it look like it's equipped. Since this was a first person lock perspective game, I cannot rely on mouse clicks to select the item. So I bind the number keys on the top of the keyboard to select the item in the toolbar. So whenever a number is pressed, the corresponding model in the toolbar will show up in a player's hand. And depending on the model, it can provide triggers or actions to the player. My first approach to this was to define every uh, number key on top of the keyboard to every toolbar destination. However, that will be more code and it won't be as efficient. So what I ended up doing was to check uh, for the valid slots open the toolbar and depending on if that uh, corresponding key is pressed it will equip the item i also factored some old code to make the system work alongside the existing ones i also added the on equip function to trigger this you just need to select the toolbar number that corresponds to the currently equipped tool 
When this is pressed, it will unequip that tool, making you hold nothing. So now the tool equipment works. But there was a bug where you press the corresponding number, the item wouldn't be equipped the first time. You have to spam it multiple times for it to even equip, and sometimes it wouldn't equip at all. I found out that this was because of the fixed update that I was using for the raycasting. Separating the fixed and the regular updates fixed the problem. After that, I started adding other models to Unity. Then I worked on this rock texture, which built upon the wood texture and just made it gray. Blender was being a hassle to deal with, and it was crashing all the time. So I worked on expanding the text area while it loaded up. Then I did some final adjustments, resized the model, and then sent it off to exporting. Next up, I was working on the wood. I wanted it to make it look like it was part of a tree, so I started adding some edges to it to make it more realistic. However, I forgot proportional editing was on, which changed one thing when you change another thing and that just led to a lot of headaches. After a while I turned it off and it seemed to work. I was going back to the materials when I found out that the rock texture didn't work. In my attempt to fix this, I tried everything. Like adding an environment map to the scene, uh, rendering the CPU, rendering the GPU, even using a combination rendering method which takes everything into account and then renders texture onto that. But nothing seems to work. Well that is until I figured out that I wasn't putting any lights into the scene, making the texture turn black. So when I removed the lights in the calculation, it worked beautifully. Then another problem arose. The normal maps weren't working. I think this was a bug in Blender because uh, when I removed the bump map and then re-added it again, it seems to work just fine. With that out of the way, I added the rock model to Unity and made it work in the system. The system uses a scriptable object where you can set the model within the parameter, meaning that it's really easy to set the corresponding models with the corresponding items. After that's done, I started working on the wood model. I took inspiration from the stick and I made it a bit darker. I tried out texture mapping or texture painting and I tried to make the ends of it a little bit brighter. I can't seem to make the parts brighter without affecting other parts of the texture. What I ended up doing was just painting the texture by itself normally to make certain parts brighter while keeping the rest the same. Even that arose some problems because the way that the texture is mapped, uh, painting one part will inevitably affect other parts. But in the end, I got it to a point where I was happy with it. After exporting the wood, I got working on the metal. The metal would be very similar to the rock, I just changed the colors a bit. And since it was my fourth time doing it, I didn't have much trouble. Alright, so there we have it. Now if we open this box, and we pull out the stick, you have a stick, and let's get another one. Pull out the metal, have a metal. And this works for all uh, item types. So wood, for example, is right there. It's not perfect, but it works, and yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the devlog. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And of course, thanks for watching.